Okay, so things have escalated quite a bit. Our wife is now in prison and is uh, badly injured, so we gotta find a way to save her. Also, the rat armies are marching around. No matter what, I must stay out of sight. No light, no noise. Silent as the Boy, night. I haven't been this hungry since we were on that voyage. What? Oh, crashed and stranded. I'd eat me own tail, I could. Oh, surrounded by victuals and I can't even lick a scrap. And I made such a good haul this raid too. And for what? Oh, they'll just be taking it all and feeding the ranks. I'll be so low in that pecking order that I'll be lucky just to see a paw full of stale bread and more berries. Sounds rough, buddy. Fill my pocket with a bit of brie, maybe even a smelt or two. No, yes, two. I, I know I can't, I can't, can I? Because they will smell the victuals on me a mile away and have me mounted to the main mast in a maelstrom. Great. Oh, it always gives me the, the heavy. All right, as much as fun as it would be to hear about that guy's rumbling stomach. Ooh, fishing tips, new lore. Is that going to be like real life fishing tips? Oh no, here comes a sergeant. Uh, quick, have a look. Hand me that there sack. This here's mine to present. I'm the Aya Rankin, so I should get the credit. I'm the one that filled the bag. It was my keen eye who reached the big spits. Yeah, sorry I missed it. Would that be a good clobbering I do? Uh, uh, <laughs> Interesting. Seems there are some high-ranking uh, female rats, which doesn't really happen in the books. Enter the password. Uh, I don't know the password for that. <gasps> but we got jam! Yes! That's what it's really all about. <laughs> Collected full jam. Yeah, my wife's dying. But, oh wait a second, hang on. We might have lore. We might have lore for the password. Let's see. Because there were some interesting riddles. Uh, also, we got the uh, fishing tips. Finding the right bait is the biggest challenge of fishing. A neat cast and a well-crafted net only get a fisher beast so far. There are the usual baits of worms or bits of fish, but not every beast is comfortable casting out with these little folk. In my recent meeting with Larkspur, I realized I hadn't given this matter any thought. Through much experimenting, I believe I have found the best substitutes. For one, you could use a bit of bread. It floats nicely and mimics the way a fly dances on the surface. For deeper fish, I find a bit of cheese will do the trick. The smellier, the better. A fine use uh, for old and moldy bits, if I do say. Clover down. Cool. Uh, what about the riddles? Mysterious riddle one, Feldspar. Oh, do we only have one? A reminder? Oh, no. That's not it. Okay, maybe maybe we actually did not get one of those. We only have one of the riddles. Wait, hold on. We have 35 out of 40 pieces of lore? Wait, are we actually getting close to the end of the game? I have no idea. I have no idea how long this game is. Okay, well, I'm not trying all 10,000 combinations on the password, so... Oh, the music's picking up. Oh, dude, that guy's huge. Okay, let's stay out of the light, just in case he decides to look down. Oh, I learned the scent of the Weirat. Oh, it is the Weirat. Cool, so now I'll be able to see where he is. Oh, dude, that music's picking up. <gasps> I think I smell jam! Apple jam at that. Oh, 
Alright. Or is that just an apple that has been crushed? Rodwell, I'm surprised I am. Thought you may have been gobbled up by a monstrous spider down in the catacombs. <laughs> ah, it take more than a little spider to stop Bloodwell. Why I'd wager I'd take a whole lot of them. Especially if it were to rescue my darling Daisy Face. Good to hear, lad. Because there'll be an itsy bitsy spider on your cuff just there. Yeah! Get off! Die! My mistake. Or just a bit of fuzz. Oh. <laughs> Do I smell the records? The records. Your breath. No, not me, sir. I can't. I will. Oh, what I mean is, husk comes out, Sergeant, sir. Hmm. Interesting. So we got a new lore piece, and that seems like it could be. Way on business. Uh, changing the guards. Blah blah blah. Brother's Code. Dear brother, I happened upon Mother's Thanes hidden within the catacombs. Came across the old Dogman Cipher page in her records. Remember how you used to use that secret code with your mole friends so I couldn't find your hideout? Oh, I know I was such a brat then, throwing a fine tantrum. But I laugh now. Such a simple language I could have learned in a day. But of course, now that I've committed this page to heart, you can no longer hide the secret tunnels for me. In fact, I've filled them with a little code of my own. But alas, I can't say I've had much faith in them ever being riddled out. But the family heirloom awaits the talented puzzler who could, should somehow take the challenge. We are the last of our clan, no dibbins of our own to inherit the vein. But it deserves more than a fate spent rotting with it, uh, along with me in the cavern hole. I wish you'd come. Pickerel Star Thistle. Interesting. And then we have a little cipher code here. O-R-E-H-E-M... S-I-E-L-K-K-I-P. Presumably you can use that to maybe open the password that's in here, but eh. I'm... I don't feel like taking 45 minutes to try and suss it out. Well! That happened. Obtained a rat tooth. Ew! Finders keepers collect the rat tooth uh, in the wear it. All right. Well, that guy. You, this is why you don't want to be on the receiving end of punishment from the wear at, because he can break rat skulls with his bare hand. Oh, is that an owl? Is that Captain Snow? Through the way glass could be seen a large looming shadow. It set his paws a quiver to think the owl patiently waiting to eat his fill of the deceased. Oh my. That it's because we got the foreshadowing achievement there, that very well might have been actually Captain Snow from the main Redwall book. My better half, finish the wear at. We collected all Lord Jam recipes and mail in the wear at. Yes! We did not do that in the other chapters. By the time Liam reached his precious Sophia. She was nearly unconscious and cast amidst a riot of boxes and barrels. She was alive, but badly wounded, bitten by that filthy scum snout, and left for dead, which she soon would be if Liam couldn't get her help. Whispering together, the two hatched a daring but dangerous plan. Husband-wife duo. I can't let you do this. It is too dangerous. And I can't abide the thought of you wandering off the dark forest, reeking of this morning's catch. What would the friars think? Besides, it can't be all that bad. Surely that beast is big and strong, but he couldn't possibly be swift. I'll draw him away up the boardwalk, and you slip away when it's clear. I'll be right as rain, and Captain Robin is due any moment. With a charming wink, he scaled the bell tower and taunted the brigand. Ah, in his colorful way. You there! I've got a ripe plum on here, and even a pinch of salt if you fancy a bite. Come and get me! <laughs> oh boy! Diversionary tactics, everybody! Oh, now we gotta run. Even before the jab left his mouth, Liam saw the error of his plan. Oh, Liam was his only concern. 
Okay! This is where the action happens. Oh my gosh, this guy's so fast. Run for your life, Liam! Yeah. Let's see how well you climb. Oh my gosh, this guy's just breaking everything. Oh, Geronimo! I wonder if there's any jam along the way. If there's jam along the way, we might have no choice but to leave it behind. Oh, dude! That guy's so fast! Oh! That was such a narrow miss. This is so cool, though! I love how the other rats are just like, Oh boy, let's watch Scum Snout chase this little mouse. We're not gonna lift up all the help or anything. Hey! You can do it, Scum Snout! We believe in you! <laughs> not really, that- wow, that bug is fast. <laughs> Did he just throw, like, a burning vase to, like, set that whole place on fire? That's... Escape was impossible. With oh, boy. Effortlessly smashing through every barrel and barrier like a juggernaut. Oh, my. Run left! Okay. Let's try that one again. That didn't actually happen. It won't let me move down. Guess we gotta go. It won't let me run down. Wow. Oh my. It's constantly pulling me towards that pit. Oh, lordy. Oh my gosh. Dude. Okay, both of these characters apparently have infinite stamina. Uh oh, that's bad. Oh, oh! I love the. I love. The, oh, oh, that's bad. That's gonna reset us back to the beginning of this part. Oh boy! I do not like the controls on this part. <laughs> I don't like how we're constantly moving towards the center, even if there's, like, a pit there. That crumpled lot of meat was a dear to you, was he? I, <laughs> I can barely understand what you're saying, bro. I hope you're good at the hurdles! <laughs> Liam's got guts, though. Wow. Definitely worthy of being a scout! Let's go! To Red Wall! <laughs> oh! We finished the game, apparently. With nary a moment to spare, the lamp was fired, just as furious scum snout broke through the trap door and lunged up to the platform. Certain of his victory, he sneered and chuckled with a sound like a hungry... Oh, are we going to sacrifice ourselves to light the lighthouse? By murderous step, he closed the distance as our hero looked desperately for any hint of escape. But as the beast reached out for his throat, the intense beam of the beacon struck Scum Snout full in the face. Blinded by the intense light, he bellowed in rage and began thrashing wildly and in pain. He swung his enormous mace all round, destroying windows and walls, cabinets and cots, all in his terrifying agony. No place was safe. The beacon was lit. Liam had completed his mission. But as the erratic whereat stumbled about the platform, he slammed into Liam, sending him over the edge and wheeling him into the cold and empty winter air. Uh-oh. But mice can survive long vaults, so... The- THE END! That's- We're ending in a cliffhanger ending, I guess. Because there is a part two! Eventually, apparently.
<laughs> the dot dot dots prove it. All right, I did not expect me to be like at the very end of the game right there. I thought there was going to be at least a couple hours left, but well, there you are. I guess that's the Lost Legends of Redwall, the Scout. Ah, so all in all, I thought that game was pretty good. Obviously, there are some issues with some of the controls and the lighting. But all in all, that was a nice little, like, I think that was a great little homage to Redwall right there. With some really cool ideas. I loved all the voice acting. I liked the jam. <laughs> I loved the homage to Brian Jakes in the tomb. There, there were just, a, there are a couple of issues that I point out along the way, like, where I tried to save the friar, but, like, I went to what I thought was the right direction to do that, and they're like, oh, you went the wrong way. I guess you're abandoning the friar. Otherwise, though, that's... That seems like it's a game, like, if you love Redwall, you're gonna like it. If you've never heard of Redwall, maybe you're not gonna be the biggest fan of it. But all in all, whoever, all of the development team who helped make this, I had a lot of fun playing this. It was great to experience Redwall in a new way. And apparently, this is just the Scout Part 1. There are Parts 2 and 3, I believe, coming along. I'm not sure if those are still planned, or if they're already out or not, but... Anyways, this was fun to play, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Anyways, I gotta leave it there. Thank you all very much. I hope you guys tune in for future Let's Plays. And until we meet again, my friends, have a wonderful day, and God bless everybody.